<clears throat> Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what we're going to attempt to do this morning, it's Sunday morning here in Florida, and it's 7.30 approximately. And we're going to attempt to do a reception testing of this Kato KA1101 radio. And of course, since I'm doing this using um, on air transmissions, it's really out of my control of how things are going to go because conditions are changing. You just never know. But we're going to give it a try anyway. And what I decided to do is I brought down my Sea Crane Skywave radio to use it as kind of a comparison. I know I've, you know, I've tested this radio and it does an excellent job of receiving broadcast. So I, I know it, if it can't find a station, then probably the Kato can't find a station. So we'll see. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to first, oops, I'm going to knock that down. Let me pick that back up. This little kickstand is uh, easily collapsed. Now the antennas on these two radios, this one is about three inches longer. I'm talking about the telescopic antenna. Whether that makes that much difference, I don't know. So we're going to take this guy, and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to go into the scan mode. Let's start, first we'll start at um, we got how to use it already. Well, probably let me turn that volume down. Now the one thing that this has that I don't like about this radio, the Kato, is this actually has a tuning dial. So you can manually tune, which for me, since I do a lot of searching on shortwave, I need that capability. Also, and I really don't mean to be, be comparing the two radios, I really should be looking at reception. The things that just kind of jump up at me is this has a, a nice S meter on it. This does not have any S meter whatsoever. Not a big deal, just thought I'd mention that in passing. Uh, I, I can say I've forgotten how to input. Oh, here it is, right here, frequency. Okay, frequency, and we're going to start down about 4 megahertz. Okay, and then we're going to let this scan and see what it finds. <clears throat> Okay, I got to turn the volume back up. Found some noise. I'm going to use the kickstand on this one too. Oops. And tilt the antenna up. And I just... Okay. So there's nothing there but noise. So let's scan some more. Okay, there's a weak signal at 4.840. So. Put this back up again. Okay, let's turn the volume down. And we'll go and punch in 4840. Whoops. Try it again. 4840. And we'll turn the volume up. And there's something there. Pretty weak, but there's something there. For the heck of it, let me uh, turn the volume down. Let me look that up on my computer here and find out what that is, if it's really shown. And yep, that's out of Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, so we'll scan up some more. And we turn the volume back up.
pretty weak. Sounds like conditions are not that good this morning. 6030. Frequency 6030. Okay. Turn this volume down. This volume up. Nah, pretty weak. Pretty weak. Let me see what that is by any chance it's on the day in the database. And it's there's a couple of stations. Uh, looks like the closest one is in Greenville, Texas. I believe that's Greenville, Texas. It's showing somewhere in on the east coast of the United States. Pretty weak on both radios and about equivalent. So let's turn this back down. Again, again, it seems like right this minute is a not a good time for listening. Not finding anything, and we're up to seven point. Okay, that's pretty strong. Seven five five five. Frequency seven one two three fives. Turn the volume up. Pretty good. Actually, I think it's a little better than Skyway. Let's go back to the Skyway. No, it's about the same. About the same. It just got a little better. On both radios. Hmm. Let me see if I can figure what that is. Seven and three fives. Seven and three fives. That is uh, EWTN. I believe that's out of uh, maybe Tennessee. So that's coming in good, loud and clear. Let's try moving up the band. So far. We've only picked up things in the United States. Then we went past the frequency for China Radio, so we didn't get any hit there. I'll, after I finish this scan, I'll go back and manually pick some frequencies. We're up to 11.6 and it still hasn't found anything. But by using this radio, it gives me an indication of is there really anything co coming through at this time of the day? And apparently it's not much. You're up to 15 megahertz. And I think in the morning you're not going to get much above 15 megahertz. Okay, 17.8. 19, and we're about to get to the end of the band, 25, 26, start over at 2.3, 3.2, 3 3.3, this does scan very fast, the Skywave. There's a 4.84, is that where we started? I think so, I think that's where we started. 4.84, four, whoops. Got to hit frequency button. Four eight four zero volume. And see, um, the S meter does come in handy because right now I can't tell whether I'm getting anything or not. So I have to turn the volume up to find out. Just like yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I think that's where we started. Okay, now I'm going to let this guy scan the Kato scan. See how it does. Noise. There's 5.025. I think I had that before. Let me go and look. Yeah. 
No, apparently I didn't have that before. That is most likely coming out of South America. We'll see if this radio gets it. Not too bad. I'm going to volume down here. Volume down. Uh, frequency. 5025. Whoops. Try that again. 5025. Okay. Ooh, the estimate is showing it's pretty strong. Yeah. I don't know. Go back to this radio. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. They're about the same. So let's go ahead and scan up some more. Nothing there. They're up to 6 megahertz. We've got 6.03. I think I had that before. 6. 6030. And then the database shows. That, let's see, it sounds like it's Spanish right now. Greenville, Greenville, yeah. That's Radio Martini out of Greenville. So that's what that is. Let's try it on this radio. Actually, the Kato is doing a little better. And another variable, turn the sound off. Another variable, and there's so many, so it's really hard to do this reception testing, is depending on the length of the antenna, will determine what frequencies it receives better. Because it's the link determines the residence resident of the antenna and where it's more res, res yeah whatever that word is um, it'll receive better. Um, the other thing is that the, the the thing the nice thing about this radio and of course the uh, C crane has it also it has an external antenna jack so we can I've got I've got an antenna down here in my workshop all it is it's about 25 or 30 feet long wire with a coax shielded coax bring it into my workshop so it's shielded and uh, and I can see it's kind of a short antenna so let's see if, whoops let's see if it'll improve things on this particular station I get the kickstand to go back up and we'll turn the volume back up and we'll plug that in now I might be going off screen so I apologize no nope. it got rid of some of the uh, background noise but the signal level didn't change so, so the signal level stayed about the same but the background noise went down so it made it sound like it was clearer now again keep in mind this is a used radio this is not brand new so you know I don't know what might have happened to it whether you know an external antenna was hooked up and uh, damaged the front end circuitry or not I don't know so bear that in mind when you're thinking about my review here. So I think that pretty well covers it. It appears conditions are not that great this morning, but it appears that Cato's reception using its telescopic antenna is just about as good as the Skywave. And this, this is a brand new design that just came out this year um, to compare it against. And I did a review of this. You want to go back and see the review of the Skywave. 
So that's uh, that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. It tells, you, it tells me that I'm doing stuff you're interested in. I hate to do videos that people don't like or are not interested. So that gives me an indication. Also, if you can take a few seconds, go down below the video and click on the share button and share my video to things like Google+, Twitter, Facebook. That helps other people find out about my channel. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.